Hello, welcome to another video on GPROMPT. Today, we are going to look at how to simulate a batch reactor, basically um, a bioreactor in, in GPROMPT. So we have a, we have bacteria growing in a batch reactor and it utilizes a soluble food source called substrate. So the optic of the substrate is represented by a logistic model with Michaelis maintain a limitation. Death of the bacteria produces detritus, which is subsequently converted to the substrate by hydrolysis. So in addition, the bacteria also excrete some substrate directly. So the death, hydrolysis, and excretion are all simulated as first-order reactions. And you have the mass balances uh, given here. So the rate um, at which uh, the concentration of the bacteria changes over time is given by dx dt, and the, the balance is, is this. And for the detritus, it's given as dc dt, and the balance is that. And for the substrate, is given as ds dt, and the balance is this. So you have these three differential equations to solve um, in g -props. Then you have um, the parameters. We are given, you know, U max, mu max is the maximum growth rate. K is the logistic carrying capacity. Ks is the Michaelis maintain constant. Then Kd is the dead rate constant. Ke is the excretion rate constant. Kh is the hydrolysis rate constant. And you have to simulate uh, the first 100 days of the reactor using this information. You have the initial condition and you have the the parameters, okay? Let's see how we can solve this in GPROMPT. Okay, so I already created the model. So for the bioreactor, so the, the variable type concentration is, is the only variable type that I need. The model, bioreactor is this, so I've declared the parameter, the mu max, K, KD, KS, K, and KH, all as real, then the variable, X, C, and S um, as concentration and the equations. So you have the equation. This is the first equation, the second equation, and the third equation. So these are differential equations. So and if you look at, if you, if you do the degrees of freedom analysis, you can count the number of, of variables and count the number of equations, you'll see that the degrees of freedom is zero. So number of variables minus number of equations will give you the degrees of freedom. So zero. Now, to solve it, that means we don't need any assignment in, in the process. So go to the process, simulate batch reactor. So first, you create an instance of the model, batch bioreactor, but we call it reactor here. And we, we set within that reactor, set the values of the parameters are given in problem statement. And then the initial conditions are given also in the problem statement. Then when then we run the simulation for uh, 100 days, as I mentioned in the problem statement. Now to run it, we we'll hit the run button, and let's use the reporting interval of one. And we have the solution for the open that the variables, the concentration profile. For the the treat for the treaters, for the substrate, for the bacteria. So three days out goes very quickly and plateau. Um if you want to put the three together, you can send the result the, the result to Jeremy's. Uh, you need to show the profile together so we can run again and then send result trajectory to GRMS. So you just need to check that button and run it again. Then you have the GRMS window. So we can plot the, the profiles by doing 2D add lines. Then we expand that reactor so we can see the concentration of C. And then if you double click on X, so you have that, then I'll, I'll plot a of uh, X 
hundred lamps. Okay, that I've, I've already done that. Uh, okay, so let me plot the conversion of S on the left, on the right, rather. So, so this is how you put together the the profiles. Okay, I hope you find this useful. So, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button to get notified of my new videos. Thank you very much for listening.